Welcome to this introduction to workflows for administrators in Term Employ. This is just an introduction, a basic introductory. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to show you how to quickly create new workflows and uh, assign them certain tasks and maybe even pre and post functions. So what we're going to start off by doing is showing just the workflows list here, which lists a number of workflows, uh, their names, descriptions, the dictionaries they belong to, as well as the tasks that they perform or trigger on. You can also see that their status is active or inactive. To start off with, we're going to click on New Workflow. This will open up a window where we can create an entirely new workflow. We have to give the workflow a name. And then we have a list, list of tasks. Now, the dis exact description of every task is described in the user guide under Workflow Tasks. So I won't be talking too much about that. But I'm going to be talking about essentially what is the thought process for these different tasks. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a workflow for when a user creates a new term or concept in TermWeb. We can set certain conditions for this. Um, for example, it only applies to a certain user group when they create a term or concept. Oh, and I should mention that if you want to select more than one uh, task here, you should hold control and then click on any of these tasks. So when this is done, you can go ahead and start choosing pre and post functions. Now pre functions generally run during the creation process. So for example, when you are actually editing a uh, term, for example, then pre functions will prop, you can choose pre functions to render certain fields, uh, hidden vis uh, or read only or so, or you can stylize certain fields. Post functions are functions that you want to have been after a certain task is performed. For example, if you want to set the, a concept to a certain section after they've been a concept has been created, you can add a post function by clicking add function, choosing set field value section to the section that you want. This will show up as a post function here. And as you can see now, since we've actually had tasks and post function, we can actually save this concept as is. Uh, we could also define validations for this function uh, in the form of required fields. For example, if you want your users to have to fill out certain fields before being able to save a term or concept, then you could actually add these as required fields. And they will be prompted when they try to create a concept to fill in these fields. You can use these pre and post functions to essentially render or stylize different fields using pre functions or apply permission schemes uh, for the creation process. When you're done, you click on done here and you can see that the new concept has been added and the tasks that are associated with it. As a tip, you can actually go in and click on any of these workflows and you can actually add a number in front of this. This, Since workflows are uh, set in alphabetical order, this will let you be able to order your workflows easily in your workflows menu. So you can create many workflows running one after the other. You can also choose an order, which means priority, for example, uh, for certain workflows so that they work before other workflows. This was an introduction to workflows. If you have any questions, please feel free to mail me.